I'm just going to quickly show you how to set up the Oxylog 3000 ventilator. We also have Oxylog 3000 Pluses in the Trust. There's two differences between them. The Oxylog 3000 Plus has CMV rather than IPPV mode. And also, when you first turn the device on, it will display did you want to use an adult or paediatric circuit. But we'll show you that when I turn the device on. They're the only two differences you need to know about. This device only has an oxygen hose, so you need to plug that into your appropriate port. It has a mains transformer, so it needs to be plugged in just next to the oxygen port here, you can see, and into the mains. It has a standalone circuit that incorporates an expiratory port which can't be occluded and a flow sensor the other end. These plug into the ventilator here and here with the flow sensor connections. You need to make sure that you connect them correctly. The blue flow sensor line needs to be connected to the blue connector and the clear to the silver and make sure you push them on firmly. Turn the ventilator around. So the on off switch is here. So we turn the ventilator on and it does a self check. Now if we had the 3000 plus, when it finishes its self check, it would display on display as to you choosing the adult or pediatric circuit using the control knob. This one, however, is the basic 3000 and does not do that. I'm just going to connect to a test line. This ventilator does not go into standby, immediately goes into ventilation. We have the choice of four modes here, and as I said, this is IPPV on this one, but on the 3000 Plus, it's CMV. To change mode, you press until the amber light is flashing and press the control knob to confirm. To set any settings, we have four hard controls here, one for tidal volume, frequency, pressure and oxygen and you can adjust them just by turning the control. For all other settings, we need to use the settings button which we press to scroll through different pages and then we use the control knob to highlight the setting you wish to change, confirm by pressing to enter turn to adjust and confirm by pressing again. We set our alarms using the alarm key. Again, exactly the same as settings. We have more than one page. You press the alarms to access the pages. Use the control knob to highlight the parameter you wish to change. Press to confirm to enter, change and press to confirm. Over this side, we have our values button which will display our delivered parameters here. You can only see two at a time, so you need to press the values button to see more. We have a curves button here, which changes what curve is shown on display and also allows you to have the curve all over the screen. Over here, we have our alarm silence, our alarm reset, inspiratory hold, and 100% oxygen. We also have down here our mains and battery indicator. As you can see, they're both green, it's connected to AC mains, and the battery is fully charged. We also have a further battery indication at the bottom of the screen here, with the battery display showing the charge there. To turn off the ventilator, you press the on-off button and hold until the ventilator says, Confirm device off with the rotary knob and you confirm with the control knob to turn off.